What is up guys? Eric here with FisherDrumming.com. Good to be back with you on the next lesson. Now let me tell you right now, this one is gonna throw you for a loop in the best way. It's called the Triple Shuffle Challenge. Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so listen up guys, I'm calling this the triple shuffle challenge because we have three different shuffles happening simultaneously. This is something that I've never done before. I was playing and I just came up with this. So I'm coining this the triple shuffle groove. I think that works, right? Now we got a lot going on. Both feet, both hands are playing here. Every limb is involved. And in order for it to sound good, every note needs to be in time for this whole shuffle machine to really work together and sound good. Now, it's all in a triplet grid. We're gonna be counting eighth note triplets. One and a two and a three and a four and a, okay? And this is like an independence exercise in itself. So that's why I'm calling it the, the shuffle challenge, the triple shuffle challenge, because it is a challenge. Um, it's not like a normal groove that you're just playing on a, you know, you can think about what you did last weekend or what you, what you had for dinner last night. This is gonna take some brain power. You're gonna be really involved mentally. Um, but once you get it down, Man, it feels good. It's like a train that just keeps moving. Um, it has a great feel to it, and it's something that I think will really strengthen a lot of different areas in your drumming, especially when it comes to overall groove control and independence. So let's get into the first step here. Okay, step number one, let's set the foundation of what our feet are playing. Now this is really the foundation of the groove, so once you get this down, everything's gonna build on top of that. Now, simple, our kick is counting a one, a two, a three, a four. Remember, eighth note triplet grid. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. Now our hi-hat foot is just playing all of the ands. So we have And that's just one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Step number two. Let's bring in our right hand. Our right hand is going to be playing the ride and the floor tom. And we have one and, two and, three and, four and, okay? So the ride is just playing all of the downbeat quarter notes. One, two, three, four. The following eighth note, we are going to be just be bringing down to the floor tom. On the ands, with your hi-hat, one and, two and, three and, for and. Now here's what that looks like with the feet included. Now that's already the main part of this groove. The next thing we want to do is bring in our left hand, what we're playing on the hi-hat, and we're simply just playing all of the uhs. So one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a. Uh. So remember, your foot is playing all of the ands. So when you put your left hand on the uhs, you have this and a, uh, and a uh, happening with the hi-hats. So let me show you what that looks like now, nice and slow. In order to get that hi-hat nice and crisp, you wanna actually bring your foot off the pedal. Uh, your heel should be off the pedal to get a nice crisp chick. You're bringing the ball of your foot up and down as you're playing that and. One and a two and a three and a four and. Okay, my heel's off the pedal and I'm just bringing my ball of my foot up and down to give it a nice quick and solid chick. Uh, as you're playing that left hand, you might want to be playing that with the body of the stick, not tapping it on the top like this if you want a little bit more presence. So, okay, one last time.
Okay, just slowing it down there so you can really see how that works. All right, now, the last step is to just bring in our backbeat, and this is a halftime shuffle feel, so all we're doing is playing the snare on three. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. You're bringing your left hand across, you're playing the us, so it's gonna look like this. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. So it's not jerky, everything's moving nice and smooth. It's easy to bring your left hand across. Just take it really slow to really get this down. So now let's put it all together and as we listen to it as one musical piece now, see if you can see why I'm calling this a triple shuffle. Really slow. Okay, so the three different shuffles are, first shuffle, your kick. Next shuffle is, right hand. Third shuffle is hi-hat. Let's explore that a little bit more. Let's change the camera angle. Let me put a mic on the hi-hat so you can just hear that come through a little cleaner. Play it along with me. Here we go. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for the lesson. Now before you click away, make sure to hit the link down in the description below to check out the free training that I've put together that really takes drummers through the whole process of building a strong foundation on the drums. Make sure that you're not missing out on these key elements that most self-taught drummers are missing out on. So anyways guys, thanks for sticking with me through the whole lesson. Make sure you like the video, 
comment down below what was your favorite part are you having trouble with this have you played anything like this before i love your feedback i read all your comments and i try to get back to every one of you so thanks again i'll see you guys on the next lesson coming up here in the next week or so take care have fun and practice like always